Oh, here we are. <laughs> Hello, fellow weirdos. Uh, welcome, after a long time, to hang with me as I discover some weirdo ass game. Uh, this is Lifeless Moon, which I have been meaning to play for a long time now. I actually uh, supported it on Kickstarter and uh, and I have I have had uh, the full game since spring I, I believe I don't remember when when the developer uh, gave the final version but since I have been busy moving and uh, setting up my computer in the countryside in the woods and getting the internet working and all that Ooh. Uh, I I have had slightly different priorities. I have played the predecessor of this game, uh, Lifeless Planet, uh, which I kind of recommend. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna diddle daddle a little bit, getting. Houston, oh, come in. Oh. Hello. Oops. Hello. Oopsie Daisy. Okay, I'm gonna diddle daddle over here before I activate something because I, I I need to get a hang of the movement and and all that. I I generally I don't enjoy third person interfaces, but I can I can manage. I think I hope. Where was I? So yes, uh, setting up a computer, setting up uh, in the woods, uh, internet, that's kind of important. I finally got the little uh, dongle thingy antenna uh, for the desktop computer so that I can, I can also peek uh, online with the, uh, with the mob mobile stuff. Oh, okay, so I don't have anything to activate here. Alrighty then. As per usual, I am running around uh, not only on the given path, but uh, trying to take little detours, trying to break out of the playable area. Just how I roll. Ah yes, and uh, the predecessor of this game, uh, Lifeless Planet, I do have a playthrough somewhere oh, in my so channel. Dark down here. No, it's how not. Get into this crater? Ooh, that's topical. As um, as fate would have it, uh, I am currently editing, well, revising a chapter in my work in progress uh, that involves a uh, crater and descent into the crater although it's much more involved and has much more heavy machinery than this uh, scene here Whee! Let's take a look at these thingies I guess that's one of the reasons why I don't enjoy third-person interfaces as much is because uh, I sort of tend to mix up the stuff that I want to look at. Look, there's a canyon leading out of the crater. Uh, ah, okay, so this is our mental guide right now. In the first game it was uh, this sort of... Uh, uh, green girl, uh, although I think there we also had visions or or radio remnants of other people. It's It's been a while, I don't remember exactly. Alright. Ooh, whoosh! Okay, let's check the Facebook.
Oh, we have a crewmate. I don't think that bodes well. But yeah, on on the good good news is that I think I I have adjusted to the movement and and stuff. Uh, we don't have jetpack yet, do we? So there used to be a path out of the crater, and I take it this path is now closed. But I see new elements here. Ah, okay, I think it's a jumping thing. Whoa! This wasn't here before, was it? No, definitely not. Nope. Okay. So, can we interact with it? Oh, that's a flashlight. I hope I will be smarter during this game and uh, fly better because I remember in the first game uh, I, I used to have such hard times. I've never seen lunar geography like this. I used to have such hard time with the jetpack because I didn't realize I can uh, boost it midair. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Basically, I was trying to do. Uh, I think it was it was a version of a similar kind of uh, platform, but it was way more uh, way more advanced and required. Ah, damn it! Yeah, this also reminds me why I don't like platformers generally because I suck at them. But yes, back then... Well, let's check, do we have jetpack? Jump jet, yeah. Training book. Okay, I can go slower, but I can't boost my running. So I guess I have to jump smarter, I guess? Ah yes, okay. <laughs> In the first game there is, uh, I think there, there is a rage quit somewhere and, uh, and there are places where where I couldn't do the platform because I couldn't figure out that uh, the jetpack could be boosted midair. Okay, something added in the notebook. Uh oh. We are not well. Please don't fall. Oh, yes. Because there is no save function here, so... Every time I blunder, I have to start over. <gasps> Pretty. Whoa. What was that? Oh, okay, so there is something here. Let's see, can we interact? There's some sort of phenomenon thingy. That's the scientific term. Ah, we have some sort of sign. If I stand here, what happens? Nothing? Okay then, let's carry on. I'm sure w Oh, we have we have time distortions here. I was going to say that weirdness 
is about to find us anyway. Oh, something over here. An extra little canyon inside the big canyon. Ooh! Can we collect them? A uh, notebook. Show me, show me, show me. Mm. Oh, nice. Uh, the developer is uh, including some uh, real-world trivia in uh, in the game world. Can we collect it? I wonder. I remember in the first game there were some uh, samples that you could collect here and there. Oh god, I feel a sneeze coming. <laughs> Ooh, more graves. Okay, here's the next one. So I wonder, was the time distortion only between that one and this one? Also the symbols look different. Ah no, the time distortion goes on, so it's a bigger thing. Gotcha. It looks like fossils. What happened to the sky? Something's really wrong here, partner. Man, I, I wish you'd talk with me. Um, I'm wondering, is the is the other one, the partner, the other astronaut, is he real or is he like, um, politely put, uh, a hallucination? Aha! I'm gonna try to discover, I mean, a uh, uh, poke in every corner because there might be discoveries. I know that th this little fella wants to talk to Houston and wants to go home, but pff, I'm in controls now. You poor sod. Yoohoo! Wee! And I am easily distracted by beautiful vistas and uh, and northern lights and uh, views of Milky Way and what have you. Okay. Hey, I think I see something up ahead. Okay, there's the other dude. All right, so this is where where we should be going, which means I'm gonna check the other nook over there as well. In case there's some discovery that I would miss otherwise. Oh! Yep, get up here. Oh! Oh, nice! Whoa! Okay, let's not get stuck. It has happened. Whoa! Okay, it's just just a rock face. I like how it's just a little bit greenish. So it makes me suspicious, but I can't prove anything. I can't poke at it. <gasps> Twilight zone? Nah. Okay, there definitely is something up ahead. Poke everything! Climb everything! Ooh, yeah. Nah. I can't 
sure, but this uh, the layout of the city kind of reminds me of the Soviet city in the first game. Maybe. Okay, we have explored the crater, but we haven't located the crewmate. What does the log say? No documents yet. Okay, gotcha. Whoa! Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of whoa! Well, naturally, I'm gonna drift off and... Ah, oh, okay, we've got an invisible birder here. So I'm gonna drift off as far as I can, but no further, further. <gasps> oh, we can go on. Ah, oh, no, no, we can't. Okay. Never mind. Oh, there's something else over there. Is it another town? <gasps> Whoa. So I wonder if I go there too early, I'm probably gonna trigger something that I shouldn't. So let's follow everything in, uh, in order-ish. Like, I'm trying to work with the developer here. Just expanding a little bit. Just a little bit on the uh, prescribed game course. Hmm. Graffiti. Garbage bags. Like, classic garbage bags. Tiny house. Wait, is this like a model city? Or, or is it just that my spacesuit is so bulky? This seems to be a waypoint of some sort. The, I think the light marks it, so let's check out other stuff first. Okay, there's some sort of extra light over there. Radio! Ooh! <gasps> Tables, cool. Can I climb up there? Probably not. Car, guess. Is this a diner? Oh, it is. We need a key to open this door. I see a quest, eh? Very neat parking. Whoa! I mean, I wasn't even planning to go in, but if you say so. <gasps> what can we take from here, I wonder? Uh, is the cursor showing us a hint, or is it just... Oh, it's just... Oh, it's moon-shaped. Okay, I, I got it. Okay, let's check the test. Um, okay. Can I... I don't, I don't get it. What do I need to do to... Oh, okay. So I don't have to physically take it with me. I just have it here. Uh huh. A proper quest. Oh, 
Alrighty then. Okay, is there anything else on this desk that we can use? Oh, 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 oh. That's why I can't pick it with me. Right. Oh, it's very clever exploration mode actually. Like you don't have to render the inside of the shop uh, too much if you're only looking around and clicking around. This house is still very tiny. It's like they were saving on costs or something. Ooh, noise. Okay, so the tower. I'm gonna explore a little far uh, farther. The reason I... I... Uh, Ooh, nice. The reason I um, uh, mumble with the farther, further, okay, invisible wall. Here we go. Is because I uh, I keep remembering how once uh, an English editor explained to me that uh, farther is uh, you say further when you mean uh, the. Um, physical distance and you say further when you mean the ab abstract distance. Mm. More min minerals. Nice. Okay, something is illuminated over there. That means a waypoint of sort. I'm guessing that the game won't let me go on unless I have gotten the radio working, so... Let's poke at this border! Or better even, before I go and start poking at all of this... Let us finish this episode and start anew. So, thank you very much for watching, I will see you in the next one, and then we shall poke at those lights. Oh yeah. Bye!